this was a, uh, what year is it, 71? All right, this is the 70s and 28, and early 70s. And I did just a few things to this one. I scooted the bridge back to get it uh, intonation correct. I put a maple bridge plate in it, or a black locust, I don't remember. I think I put a black locust bridge plate in it. And I put the bridge plate in because I scooted the bridge back. So when I scoot the bridge back, you know, the holes are going to be in the wrong place. And so it's just easier for me to just put a new bridge plate in and have fresh, clean holes and just to go to some repairing of the bridge plate business. That's all I did then, uh, you know, modification-wise. Uh, I got a new fret job on it. had a lot of deck relief on it, so I... I used a little bit of a compression or a fret job, a little bit of sanding, a little bit of shaping here and there, and just got the relief out of the neck. And now it's got just about like four thousandths of an inch of relief, not much, just just a little bit. And I did a neck reset on it, and ebony bridge pins, and that's about it, you know. The owner uh, evidently was like in the attic or something like that, where the kids were taking care of it or something. And it's got a lot of cracks right here in the top. I'm not sure if you can see them in the video. But there's a crack, it runs clear up here, crack clear up here. So he was kind of concerned that, you know, is it worth restoring? And I said, yeah, it's absolutely worth restoring. I've seen so much worse than this. You know, these cracks are stable. There was just a humidity crack. So you get uh, humidify, you get some glue in there, um, they're going to be fine. So, I mean, what do you think, you know? <laughs> Audience-wise, this guitar worth saving? So what we're going to do is we're going to compare it to the Shop 69. These are two of the same guitars, they're just a couple of years apart. Um, the only real difference is going to be the bridge plate. The 69 still has the stock large bridge plate in it. This has got a smaller black locust bridge plate. Uh, see what difference you can hear. It's it, not it's going to smack you in the face, I don't think, but I think there's a small difference, you know. And I knew this guitar before I did that, so I think it... Um, I think it's a representative comparison. I mean, if it would, didn't think so, I wouldn't be doing it. So I realize they're two different guitars, but they've got um, the same bridge pins, the same strings. They're still D18s from the same era. So see what you can hear. Yeah, let's go through my standard stuff.
there you go, y'all. Have a listen to it. If you want me to know, if you want to know what I think about the two, this is the 69 here. Here's the 70, whatever it is. And here's what I think about it. I think the 70s has a cleaner tone to it, a little bit of a just drier tone. The 69 seems to have more sustain, and that's go back and listen to it again. See if, what you think. See if you think that's what you hear or not. You know, you might hear different things. Um, the 69 also uh, almost seems like a, a rumble sort of sound. Um, it just doesn't seem as clear to me as the 70s does. The 70s, uh, the notes, individual notes, especially like on the E chord. Listen to the low note on the E chord when I played the blues with him. Um, listen to the low notes on, on the uh, 70s and see what you think about that. See if you're a little bit clearer, whereas the 69 kind of mushes all the sound together a little bit. Um, it's a small difference, like I said, but then again, I just did the work on this one. So, you know, give it a chance to break in, give that bridge plate a chance to settle, and um, see what you think then. But, you know, it's, it's not a massive difference. Um, so much of the stuff that I do is small differences multiplied together. So if you just change one thing or change the other thing, it's not that big of a deal. When you do the whole thing all together then uh, the pieces add up. And a lot of times the pieces work with each other, too. So. Anyways, two get your good guitars. I mean, golly, you could play either one of them for the rest of your life and be perfectly happy. So, um, the 18s. I don't even like the 18s. <laughs> no, I like the 28s. But uh, I find uh, I get a lot of the 18s. I like them. I like the 18s. I just like 28s a little bit better. But anyway, I think this one's worth saving, you know? 70s here. I don't see anything in the world wrong with that. It's a good guitar. So, all right, later. Oh, check out my shirt. Yeah.